I grew up in the 90s and I watched cartoons like Transformers, Thundercats and of course Marshall Bravestar. What does that have to do with Warhammer kit bashing or games workshop? A couple of weeks ago Olli from Hobby with Olli reached out to me and suggested we are going to trade and paint a kit bash build. Of course I said yes, this is going to be so much fun. Feels a little bit like Secret Santa, I have no idea what I'm getting but neither does he. So back to the cartoons of the 90s. Oli recently got into Necromunda and made an awesome kit bash converting enforcers into space cowboys. These reminded me of Marshall Bravestar. It's a cartoon set on a wasteland on a futuristic planet in a cyberpunk steampunk setting and he is basically the marshal of a wild western town in this setting. And that's a perfect inspiration for this bit. So today we'll customize the most badass gunslinging marshal the underhive of Necromunda has ever seen. When we are done, the marshal is going to hop over to the beautiful city of London and get painted by Olli. Okay, let's get started. First we need a solid foundation for this custom model. Wait, I don't have a good base for this. Hmm, I know where to go for that. To the subway! All right, this is a good foundation and let's start. Time to choose a miniature. They all look like a great foundation, but I like this one the best. It's a true gunslinger pose. Next, we need the fitting arms. I have two fitting arms for my Death Corp of Creek veterans and those will fit perfectly. The rifle needs to be replaced with a pistol though. I want his right arm in a pose as if he's just drawing his gun. Yes, perfect. Okay, time to trim the shoulders. Even though I like the pads on the model, I want a more militarized look. So the Death Cop of Creek shoulders will fit great. Maybe our marshal was in the service of the Astra Militarum before he joined the security services of the Underhive. Now the other shoulder and the other arm. He's going to look at his watch, or maybe it's a scanner thingy. It's definitely going to be a very busy marshal. Next, he needs a head, and of course, a head. I found these STLs online, various space cowboy hats. Which one looks best for our marshal? This one? Or this one? Hmm, maybe this one. I like this version best. The two lenses on one side just scream. Space Cowboy. And here it is all printed up and it's time to glue this one complete. Yes, we are on the right track. This one needs a name. For now I think we should call him Marshall Darkstar. By the way, if you find this video entertaining, leave me a like so more people can find this content. Back to our mini. Let's design the world this miniature is going to live in. We have two choices here. The ash wastes outside of Necromunda or the stinking corners of the Underhive. What do you think? I think we should play it safe and go with the Underhive. This will also give us more room to tell a story. I want the base to have multiple levels. The man of the law standing on a platform and watching over the dark corners of the Underhive streets. Below should be enough room to create a subplot. And speaking of the subplot, for that we need this. Warhammer Quest, Die Verfluchte Stadt. Probably better known to you as the Cursed City. In this box are many awesome miniatures. I used most of them to play Warcry, but some of these miniatures are game markers for objects or effects. The ones which are interesting for us are this cat and this bunch of rats. So let's now have a final look at all the basing materials we're going to use. We have the cat, the rats, the classic Necromunda base of course, a beam, 
an old terrain bit as the platform and an old brush cap for a pipe. Always keep your brush caps for this sort of thing. It's a great resource and sometimes comes in really handy. First we need that platform. Sprue parts are just great to represent metal beams. Form it into shape, glue number one and glue number two. Here we go, our platform is finished. For stabilization and under hive atmosphere, we will have a pipe below the platform. So we cut it in half and glue it. And this looks very promising. Okay, I talked about the subplot earlier. A classic, cat versus rat. For this, we need to remove the zombie cat from its beam. Oops, a little bit too much. A little bit of the paw ripped away, so glue and patience. And uh, here we are with um, the cat again. Let's call him Hans. Yes, Hans. We glue him a little bit tilted onto the base. I want the front paw in the gap so it looks like he's sneaking up on something. Uh, speaking of his counterpart, let's cut this red pile into pieces. I don't know how many we are going to need yet, so I will clean up a few of them. And how are we going to position this rat against Hans? Should it run away or charge in for a fight? Maybe it should also sneak up from under the platform. Yes, that will fit. So who's going to win the fight? Before you say the cat, keep in mind Hans is missing his right eye here and didn't spot the potential prey yet. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to not miss the new video where I'm going to paint the build from Oli, which I'm going to get in the next weeks. I'm super excited to see what's coming. Okay, something is still missing here. Yeah, definitely more rats. The back of the base just looks a little dull, so this rat will look out of the pipe. More details for Oli to paint. And yes, this looks kind of weird now, but once the miniature and the pipe is primed, it'll look great. When you kit bash, the most important thing is to make something special. What I mean with that is not only to create a miniature you couldn't buy, but to create a story. The minis from Games Workshop have a great pose and are fantastically sculpted. But in a custom model, you can add so much more depth by storytelling. And that is going to lift your creation up to be something truly special. Like this one, the man of the law himself. And it's time for him to go on his platform. Yes, this is the way. I have to say this mini turned out so nice. It's hard to give it away now, but a deal is a deal and I'm getting something in return. And now we'll transport this package via YouTube magic to Oli in London. Oli? Oli? Ah, okay. Are you ready? One, two, and three. And it worked. So here are a couple of more glory shots from our Marshall, but you know what you should watch next? This video right here, where Oli is going to unbox my package, react to this miniature, and is going to paint Marshall Darkstar. I'm so excited for this.